Sheikh Rabi' likewise was asked concerning him and whether or not it is a science that continues in this time. He responded by saying, هذا والله من المهازل والمدحكات المبكيات وأن يقال أن يقال مثل هذا الكلام. He said, this indeed is from the amazing affairs and from the affairs that cause you to laugh and cry at the same time. He said that people should make this statement in this time. لما تكثر البدعة A time that has in it or is filled with بدعة and, and it is plentiful with heresy. ويكثر العلمانيون والشيوعيون والروافض والصوفية والأحزاب الضالة he said in a time that is filled with modernists and with communists and with rawafid and with sufiyah and with the various misguided parties and groups, it is amazing that this statement should be made. He said, indeed this is ghalat, this is a mistake, and this is munkar, this is a, 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 an evil. هذا من الضياع This is without doubt Something that will cause dhaya. Yani something that will cause mayhem. Wa adam al-tafaq, adam al-fiqh fi deen Allah Azza wa Jal. And it will cause the people to have no fiqh in the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. For indeed, the salaf allafu kutuban fil aqaid. They wrote books in aqeedah. And they narrated from, from or spoke ill of the people of, hadi- of, of bid'ah and dalala. And they referred to and they named individuals and they named groups. فَهَلْ هَذَا يَعْنِ إِنْتَهَا أَيْضًا And so has this likewise ended. This affair has ended. So he said that this issue then is an amazing affair uh, that it is impossible to say that it is something that has ended. Our ulama, ikhwan, they continue to establish this affair of jarhi wa ta'deel. You imagine, ikhwan, if jarhi wa ta'deel was abandoned, there was no criticism, there was no amr bil ma'roof, no nahyan il munkar. Imagine how this conference itself would be. Imagine it, Ikhwan. Huh? You would have a group of brothers over there in the corner making dhikr in a little circle, making noise in the circle, making dhikr. We would have to say, Ikhwan, the only thing that we would say is, Ikhwan, please be quiet. We're trying to, we're trying to have, yani, carry out a lecture over here. You would have a group of brothers in the corner. In, an, in the other side of the masjid, packing their rucksack for gusht. To go and make gusht 40 days, arba'in yom, three days, two weeks, or what have you. <coughs> you would hear the anashid as you walked into the masjid in the foyer. As you are given your complimentary dhikr beads. And we would end the conference with one big Salafi jannah hug. <laughs> And that, brothers and sisters, is Shay Ajib that any individual would say that there is no jarhi wa ta'deel. And that this affair, Ikhwan, is something that has ended. So, so we just leave everyone to do as they please. No enjoining of the good and no forbidding of the evil. Ahl al-ilm, Ikhwan, why then did the Prophet ﷺ, and how does the hadith manifest? Where the Messenger ﷺ, he said, يَحْمِلُ هَذَا الْعِلْمَ مِنْ كُلِّ خَلَفٍ عُدُولُ That this knowledge will be carried in every generation by its trustworthy ones. They repel from it. And from Islam, from the deen, they repel from it. The distortions of those who distort, these distortions of the jahil, they repel from it. The fabrications of those who lie. وتحريف الغالين The fabrications or the distortions of those who go be unbound. The تحريف الغالين How is that refuted? How is it corrected? How did the ulama that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned this ilm is carried by the trustworthy ones but they repel the distortions of the غالين the distortions of those who go be unbound. How is that done? The repelling. How is it done? Rad ala al-mukhalif Jarhi wa ta'deel How is it done, ikhwan, other than by way of this science? Intihal al-mubtileen The fabrications of those who fabricate How do those trustworthy ones repel that? How? 
الجرح والتعديل الرد على المخالف the false interpretation of those who are jahil and interpreting the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal how is it repelled if we're going to say that this science and this ilm has come to an end amr ajib jiddan that that should be claimed it is one that continues but the reason individuals wish that it should end is because they wish for Ahlul Sunnah to remain silent. They attempt Ikhwan to silence Ahlul Sunnah and prevent them from carrying out that which Allah praised this Ummah for. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat lil nas ta'muruna bil ma'roof wa tanhawna anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah.